and welcome back. I presume you've clicked on this video because you're having a bad skin day. The title is a sort of play on words, to be honest, because it's about what to do when your skin has a breakdown. And by that, I mean it could be a breakout, it could be a breakdown of the barrier function of your skin, it could be when your body just suddenly goes really dry. I know that mine's getting really dry at the moment. We put the heating on in the UK a couple of weeks ago and it's really becoming wintry. It's not even autumnal anymore. We appear to have jumped an entire season. What happens if your face is suddenly peeling and flaking? What happens if you've suddenly gone gray? What happens if even your extremities like your heels are starting to crack and even bleed? That's what I mean by your skin having a breakdown, stroke breakout. But it's normally something to do with underlying either environmental or skin conditions. And I'm gonna start by saying, this video is partly sponsored by Bioderma, who I love, who I have an ongoing relationship with, and this is my all time favorite range from Bioderma, and it's Atoderm, and it's for clinically dry skin conditions. So this is the range that if you go and see a dermatologist, they're gonna recommend you use on people of all ages with all dry skin conditions. From mild dermatitis and eczema right the way through to psoriasis, this is your gold standard range. And I have a code as well. Stay tuned, it's Nadine15. It's for the entire Bioderma UK site and I shall put the details down below. And it's, it's a long one. It's gonna last until the end of the year, so it's a great one. So if you're thinking about investing in Bioderma, use my code. Right, where do I start with Atoderm? Let's start by talking about dry skin conditions. Now, Atoderm is specifically created for people with genetically dry skin conditions. So that's people who have, um, often it's genetic in the sense that it, it runs through families, but it could be babies, children, the range is formulated for everybody, the entire family. And it's people that have got an impaired barrier function for whatever reason. And it could be dermatitis, it could be eczema, it could be psoriasis. And there are three products in the range that I want to talk about. I've spoken about them before. I have a really good friend, Victoria, whose daughter first suffers from terrible eczema. And she's, what, 11 now. And this is the range that she steals off my desk. And it's really nice, actually, that as an 11-year-old, she was originally suffering at about eight or nine when I originally gave her the products. She felt like she had her own special products because when people were using, especially that age, were using fizzy bath bombs and itchy flagrant fragranced bath gels and shower gels and stuff like that she wanted her own special range because obviously she couldn't use them and at least bioderma atoderm is stylish and beautiful and nice to use now if you have a dry skin condition what's interesting is if you go to a gp the chances are you're going to be given some sort of very very heavy emollient occlusive almost like a sort of thick unctuous balm both to cleanse with and to moisturize with and i know what you're going to say because i have friends who have dry skin conditions it's not pleasant to use it's really not pleasant to use but it it works but it's just not good which is where the bioderma atodium range comes in because i'm going to start by saying that there's two key products within the range and then there's one that i keep on hand all year round for all skin breakdown emergencies. There's the Atoderm, which is the Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Cleansing Oil, which is actually for face, body, in the bath, in the shower, everywhere. And then you've got the Bioderma Atoderm Intensive Balm, which is the Ultra Soothing Balm. And it's for very dry, irritated to atopic skin, sensitive skins. And by atopic, we mean anybody that has uh, an atopic, that means a superficial sur surface, sensitivity to fragrances, to colorants, to detergents, to surfactants, all those ingredients that most people can use. And yes, obviously it might leave your skin slightly dry, but your skin can rebalance itself. If your skin can't rebalance itself after using say a detergent or a surfactant and the skin takes a long time to recover, then this is the range for you. And it's brilliant. This by the way, makes the best first cleanse ever in the history of cleansers. If you have somebody in your family that buys the supercharged one, try using it as a first cleanse, it's amazing. The advantage is obviously because it is a really lightweight cleansing oil that dissolves clear away in water is it cleanses the skin 
without actually impairing the barrier function. And you know what? Bioderma sent me this really interesting itch scratch, itch cycle diagram. And I think it's really fascinating. So what you have is you have an altered skin barrier. Irritants and allergens can penetrate that barrier because you're not producing enough of your skin's natural waterproofing mechanism, which is the sebum. That releases pruritic, which is itchy. Skin puritus is simply itchy. Mediators, they send signals to the brain to send inflammation up. The more it's inflamed, the more you're itching and scratching. Guess what? The more you itch and scratch, the more skin barrier function is impaired, the more it allows irritants and allergens in, the more it sends inflammatory markers up to the brains to itch and scratch. It's a horrible, vicious circle. And can I just say at this point, if you're an adult, you know how uncomfortable it is to have itchy skin conditions and dry skin conditions. My heart goes out to any parent watching this who has a newborn baby or a toddler or a child and you can't tell them to stop scratching because that's what they need to do. They need to almost sit on their hands. How can you tell a young child not to do what comes naturally? Step in, start repairing the skin's barrier function straight away with Bioderma. Trust me, it's approved by dermatologists and that's how I first came to find out about so it. Let's go through how you use them. They are a two-step routine and they are best used together. There is no point in putting a balm on dry skin if you're stripping it with harsh detergent. So you need a gentle cleansing oil. I would use it in the shower, literally head to toe, and I use it the way I would use a facial cleansing oil. So you use it on very lightly damp skin, you massage it into the skin, and you'll notice as it goes in, it soothes the skin and rinses away almost like a milk. It's really, really beautiful. Straight after washing, what you will end up with is pat your skin super gently as you're drying and you come out of the shower, then apply the balm straight away. Now let me show you the balm because I know what you're gonna think. You're gonna think it's super heavy, but it's not. It packs a powerful punch for something that is so lightweight, it really is. There you go. So it looks like, I mean, they call it a balm, but it actually just is a really beautiful body moisturizer. I do not know anybody that wouldn't enjoy using this. I tell you where I would use this, even on me, who does not suffer from an atopic, dry and sensitive skin. I would do it on hands, I'd use it on scaly legs, I'd use it on arms. It's just absolutely beautiful completely unfragranced and loaded with barrier repair function active ingredients. And the balm just won the best eczema product in the Marie Claire Awards. That's the pre Lance that comes out of Paris, which is absolutely huge and is judged by real leading lights and dermatologists within the skincare industry. So the intensive balm contains ceramides and glycerin. Ceramides are your skin's natural barrier repair ingredients. Your skin makes them naturally atopic, dry, sensitive skin, prone to eczema and dermatitis, doesn't make enough of them. It also has biometric fatty acids, which basically just means that they are fatty acids that are made by Bioderma to mimic exactly what your skin has. So the fatty acids are the active ingredients in your natural moisturizing factor that keeps your barrier function strong and your skin waterproof, pollution-proof, irritant-proof. It also has zinc gluconate, which reduces itchiness as well. Zinc is a natural antimicrobial ingredient. So it's really lovely. It's so lightweight, honestly. Look at that. It's gone in so quickly. It's the exact opposite of an aqueous cream. And these are the products that you can use if you're using any medication from your doctor or your GP for psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis as well. So if you happen to be using a short-term course of steroids or immunomodulators, these will sit beautifully alongside it. Now, both of them contain a skin barrier repair therapy patent, which is a mix of those biomimetic fatty acids, the zinc gluconate, the ceramides, and the glycerin. And together, what they do is basically form a film over the top of the skin, gently going into the top layers of skin to make the surface layers of your skin better suited to repel irritants and allergens. It's as simple as that. Now, those are great products. Yes, I've used both of them. I keep the balm on hand for dry skin conditions for mainly for my legs, my arms, my hands. And this I just use, I really love it. I actually use it as a facial cleansing oil. I really like it. But my favorite product within the range is this one. Not technically part of the routine, but this should always be in your SOS skin kit. This is incredible. This is the Bioderma Atoderm SOS spray and it's anti-itching and ultra-soothing. And let me show you how it works. So it comes with a locked top, but let me just show you why I love it. I 
cannot explain how amazing this is. What do I use this for? Well, I suffer from hay fever and I suffer from quite sensitive skin in summer if it gets allergenic to things like pollen and stuff like that. But do you know what this is? This is for insect bites. This is for any abrasion, any outbreak of itchy skin. This is your absolute emergency on the spot treatment for any skin itching at all. Do you ever come back off holiday or go to stay somewhere else and the change of water makes your skin itch? I know it does me. We have really hard water in the UK and if I go somewhere else and then I come back, I notice that my skin takes a while to settle back down to our hard water. This is so lightweight, can go on all over. It's a beautiful lightweight body moisturizer for anybody, but the primary function is it's an anti-itch spray and it works. It works within seconds. It's cooling, soothing. It has all the active ingredients to repair your barrier function, but in a lightweight spray. And it's something to keep on hand to use in addition to the first two step cleansing oil and balm. I really love this product. It makes the best after sun. I'm sure there's nobody out there that gets too much sun and gets itchy sunburnt skin, but oh my goodness, it makes the best after sun ever. But it's also just handy to keep on hand for any skincare emergency or any skin emergency where your barrier breaks down and you suddenly get a little bit itchy. They are absolutely my go-to SOS products for dry, sensitive skin. Remember that if you go to your GP and you are being treated for atopic dermatitis, any sort of skin itching condition, if you've got psoriasis or eczema, these can be used in addition to your prescribed products. Use code Nadine15, you'll get 15% off the entire site, but do look at the Atoderm first. Can I just say also, if you have a child or a baby that's, and it's surprisingly common and it is related to the gene that has hay fever, so it runs in my family as well, who have dry skin conditions, who, who have an unknown cause allergic atopic dermatitis or psoriasis or eczema, they can be used on babies too. It's a real mother baby range that's that's just absolute, it's a game changer, it really is. And if you've ever had to use aqueous cream and you know how horrible and unpleasant it is to use, then this is the alternative. Well, but the whole family can use it, that's what's good about it. And it's really reasonably priced. And I love that it comes in large enough sizes for you to put into the shower so the whole family can use. Nadine 15 is the code across the entire site, which is really generous of Bioderma, so thank you to them. Now, where else should we go if your skin's having a freak out moment? If it is just your face, and I did mention these products before, but they weren't on sale, and I apologize for that because I made a lot of you very excited, and now they are on sale, and they're available in Boots and online as well, and in John Lewis. The Liz Earl Probiotic range is finally out. There's a probiotic milk cleanser, a night cream and a day cream. They are entirely unfragranced and that's super important if you've got a sensitive skin condition, it really is. So for the first time you have what I've spoken about before, which is that Liz Earl has been bought by Boots and you've got the Boots Labs creating a Liz Earl range for people with sensitized skin who can't use essential oils. Obviously, you know, most of these products here are gonna be unfragranced because if you've got a skin breakout, break up, break down, then trust me, the first thing that needs to go out of your skincare routine is fragrance, I'm afraid. Just until your barrier repair function is repaired and then you can start introducing them back in. But for me, I've never managed to get over the fact that I have perioral dermatitis and fragrance, especially essential oils, are, are highly irritating to me. What happens if your skin is having a breakout? Then your go-to ingredient is a salicylic acid. And I'm going to mention the Paula's Choice 2% BHA gel because it's a gold standard. The gel is interesting for me because it goes on specific breakouts. I've got a lovely one here, which is actually the result of wearing makeup too soon after my Morpheus 8 treatment, because um, I had to go out yesterday and do appointments. Um, and I will be dabbing that on that tonight. And it will literally just deep dive into the pores. The salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. It's lipophilic, so it goes into the pores and it basically unclogs the pores and dries out the excess oil within that pore. It's like my skin decided to break up, break out and break down just for this video, just for you. Um, there are other things you can do if you've got an all over sign of gray pallor, which happens a lot at the change of the season. So a lot of people are finding now as we're going out of summer and into autumn and we've almost done a 
fast dive into winter. Do look at something like the facial radiance pad from First Aid Beauty and they're a mix of acids as well so you've got glycolic acid and lactic acid but it's loaded with aloe vera glycerin and some really nice green tea extracts as well so it's not overly harsh which I really like. So if your skin's going through a bit of a clogged grey change of the season moment do try something like that. And then what happens if your body doesn't have dry skin but it has two problems which are incredibly common keratosis pilaris keratosis pilaris is the little red bumpy chicken skin that you can get on the backs of arms fronts and backs of legs even children can have it as well well you know that i love lactic acid for that and i still think one of the gold standards is the ameliate transforming body lotion and that is basically a huge hit of lactic acid for the skin so lactic acid is really important because it hydrates and it cleans the skin so if you think about keratosis pilaris, it's literally a buildup of keratin in the plugs of not the large hair follicles, but those tiny little microscopic ones where if you look at skin closely, they're the hairs that prick up on the back of the neck. So they're super fine, white, clear hairs. And if the keratin plugs those, then each one becomes a little bit of a red bump or a brown bump, depending on your skin type. Lactic acid is the gold standard. Do go and have a look at that. There's an entire range, but I still think the original product is the best. And what happens if like me, and you go into winter, you go out of sandals and you go into essentially wearing boots and socks and trainers and things like that. And suddenly you look down and your heels are so dry, they've cracked. It's not just me, right? The important thing to do is to remember to use a restorative heel balm. And for that, you're gonna look for a combination of lanolin and urea. Lanolin is actually derived from sheep's coats. It's what makes sheep's wool um, waterproof. And urea is a natural moisturizing factor found in the skin, but at a super high percentage. So the minute you get over 10%, it starts to actually exfoliate the skin as well as repair the barrier function. So this is like a supercharged product specifically for dry and cracked heels, approved by the Royal College of Podiatry. So they're the people who look after your feet and it works. What you do is you apply it. I put cotton socks on and I would say, but within two or three nights, you notice a massive difference. I mean, the first night you'll notice that your skin is super hydrated the next morning. But then after you have a shower and you notice that actually that skin just slightly needs removing so you can use any sort of foot file really really gently uh, because it will go slightly gelatinous almost in the shower I mean that sounds disgusting but it comes clear away then the following night use it the following night use it by the time you've used it four or five nights you will notice the, a massive difference in your heels especially if they've got to the point where they're so dehydrated they're cracking and the only reason they crack is because they're under so much pressure because you walk on them there you go they are my take on what is really important to keep on hand if you suffer from clinically dry, a topic dry skin, as in something like eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, any sort of skin allergies or sensitivities. If you've been to see your GP and he's given you an aqueous cream, there are alternatives out there, I promise you, and they are approved by dermatologists. Go and look for the Bioderma Atoderm Intensive Balm, the Atoderm SOS Spray, that's the anti-itch one. It's so good. And also the Bioderma Anti-Irritation Cleansing Oil. The balm and the oil are a routine, but the spray is just all kinds of magic. It's incredible. I've never known anything soothe my skin. For me, it's far more effective than a steroid cream at getting rid of itchiness. So if you ever go on holiday and you suffer from insect bites or a little bit of sun irritation or anything like that, that sudden change in the weather that makes your skin itch, keep it on hand. But also if you've got clinically dry skin as well, keep it on hand, it's incredible. The Liz Earl Probiotic Balancing Milk Cleanser is the brand new range completely unfragranced, no essential oils, that has now been created for people who love Liz Earl but have sensitive facial skin. Look at a choice of acids if you've either got breakouts, look for a 2% salicylic acid like the Paula's Choice 2% BHA gel, I like the gel because it can be dabbed rather than wiped all over, or the facial radiance pads from a First Aid Beauty, don't forget that's a combination of glycolic and lactic. And then for your body, if you've got keratosis pilaris, do look for lactic acid. Ameliorate is an amazing range. I, I highly recommend it, I really do. But also, if you don't have that sort of budget, just look for lactic acid in body products. And Flexitol Heal Balm. The key active ingredient there is urea. What you're putting back into your skin in each of these products, with the exception of the acids, obviously, is you're putting back what your skin naturally needs to have a healthy barrier function. 
urea, glycerin, ceramides, all those things are super important. And when your skin's barrier function breaks down for whatever reason, your skin will break down, break up and break out, trust me. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget code Nadine15, 15% off the entire Bioderma range. When I work with the brand, I always like to make sure that you get something out of it as well.